I'm Jo McRae from WWF and I'm here in Tasmania's Macquarie Harbour. I'm here today to talk about how some very global issues like increasing human population, the pressure to produce more food and the challenge of doing that whilst preserving the places that we love and need, how those issues are being played out right here locally in Tasmania's salmon farming industry. Our seafood program at WWF strives to make sure that more of the seafood we produce in Australia and more of the seafood we eat in Australia is responsibly produced. In doing that work, we work across the whole seafood supply chain, from the brands that you know, the retailers you shop in, all the way back to the fishing boats and the fishing farms that produce that seafood. The fact is that everybody needs to eat and there's more and more mouths to feed each year. It's predicted that by 2050, around 9.7 billion people will populate the earth. More than that, it's forecast that at that point, we'll need to produce about 70% more food than we do today. And seafood is no exception. Marine and freshwater seafood account for around 17% of the global population's consumption of animal protein. Over 31% of global fish stocks are overfished a worrying statistic against the fact that it's predicted that by 2022 we'll see an increase in global demand of seafood by another 29%. And while some of Australia's fisheries are amongst the best managed in the world, 70% of the seafood we eat in Australia is imported. Put simply, there's very little room to harvest more fish from the environment to feed this growing demand. Farming fish or aquaculture must inevitably play a vital role. But aquaculture is not the silver bullet. It's not the ready perfect solution. It comes with its own issues and risks that need to be properly managed to make sure we minimise impacts on the environment. So since around 2011, WWF has been working with the salmon farming industry here in Tasmania, and that work has resulted in improvements on the water in the way fish are farmed, tightening of government regulations, and we've also seen buyers of salmon make commitments and follow through on those commitments to only buy and offer responsibly sourced salmon. An important tool in this work is the Aquaculture Stewardship Council, or the ASC. The ASC is the highest and most robust standard available for responsibly sourced farmed seafood available worldwide. One of the companies that has adopted the ASC standard is Tassel, and in 2016, a second farm, Petuna, also achieved ASC certification for its salmon and trout farming activities here in Tasmania. Both companies should be proud to meet this best practice standard. But it's a journey that never really ends. The ASC standard itself, whilst the best, is not perfect. Improving the standard in response to changing conditions, improving science, is all part of the process of using a standard to lead continuous industry improvement towards sustainability. There's still big challenges and it's no more apparent than right here in Macquarie Harbour. While salmon farming has taken place here since the late 1980s, all three salmon farming companies increased their production in 2012 and by the end of 2016 we were seeing very worrying signs both under the cages and in the water column. These impacts are happening now. We must be in it for the long haul to find sustainable solutions to food production. So WWF will continue to work with farmers, with ASC, with buyers, with government, with scientists, with community groups to find that path where people and nature can prosper together.